next time on All Things Unexplained. We know what it's not. We, we know what it's not <laughs> made out of protons, neutrons, or electrons, or literally any other particle we've ever discovered. We know that uh, the quantum mechanics of what we understand today, often what we call the standard model of particle physics, cannot explain the existence of dark matter. So what's happening is that right now, experimentalists are trying to find exotic new particles. They've done all kinds of interesting experiments deep underground, both in Europe and in North America and elsewhere. They're trying to see if some particle could be found that could explain all this, and they haven't. They've only been able to place upper bounds on the existence of these things. They keep having to change and adjust them. They, their original hypotheses are, are proven to be incorrect, and so they're readjusting their hypotheses to try to understand it. All that we know is that we know it's not those things. But when we astronomers look out in the universe, it is totally there, absolutely there. The, the existence of dark matter has been confirmed again and again again and again with every galaxy, with every cluster of galaxies, with every large scale motion of the universe that's measured. We know more and more for certain that for every pound of stuff that are made up of protons and neutrons and electrons, there are four or five or even six pounds of stuff that are not. <laughs>